Hi guys, I hope you are doing well. In this session, we'll learn or understand how we can use Python generators and iterators. So guys, generator is a function which returns a generator iterator. It's look like a normal function, except that it contain yield expression for producing a series of a value which is usable in a for loop. Okay, let me go to the Jupyter notebook. So you remember what we are doing in our recent session. So we are writing a normal function and use return statement. That's it. We are not writing uh, any generator function will yield statement. So normal function and return statement is not a good idea on the large data set. On the large data set, generators are very useful because generators are memory efficient. Okay. So it means a generator function only store the previous result to generate the next one instead of allocating the memory for all the result at the same time. So in layman word, generators occupied less memory and it is very useful for the memory management. Let me give you an example. So I'm going to define a function which is generator function. Okay, now I'm going to define a loop And let's here I'm using yield. And multiply by let's say 20. Okay, that's it. Now I am storing this function in the variable which is x generator function. Okay, now I'm going to print the x. So it will be print the object of a generator. Okay, now the question is how you can access the value of a generator. So there are two ways. First, with the help of looping concept. So for item in X and print the item. Okay, so I am accessing the value of, of my generators. Okay, so item of a generator function can also retrieve one at a time with the help of next function so next function is a nothing it is a built-in function this function simply allow you to access the next time of the sequence written by the generator function okay so once again i am going to run this program this one now let me y equal to generator function okay now let's say next of y instead of writing a looping concept we can access the generator's value with the help of next built-in function okay see once again if i'm going to run this it will give me 20 40 60 80 okay so in case if i'm going to run once again see so this is a stop iteration. So as all the item of the sequence are accessed, so stop iteration is exception is thrown. If you try to go to the beyond the limit, okay? So a string, list, tuples, dictionary, and range objects are iterables. That is, you can iterate through with the help of loop, and but these but these are not iterated. Some people are think string, list, tuples, dictionary, and range. These are these are the iterated. No, these are not iterated. Let me give you an example. Let's say a equal to for an example two five six eight nine. Okay. So see what is the next. So next is the iterable function or iterator, right? So do you think when I'm going to access next of a, what will happen? It will give me an exception. Because list data circuit is not an iterator. See, list object is not an iterator. Fine. But we can convert our list into the iterator. Let's say B equal to iter and A. Then I can access the value of next of B. Once again, next of B. Sorry. Next. Then I can access 
all the value of my list. Okay, so these things you need to remember. So first you have to convert these object into iterator object using the Python built-in function itr. Only then you can use the next function. Okay, because next function always work on the iterator. Okay, so these things you need to remember. At first, the concept of iterators and iterables and generators may seem confusing, but as you keep using this function in your script frequently, then you will understand better. Okay, so guys, this is all about from this session. Okay, so in case any question you have, then you can mention your comment in the below. So guys, thanks for watching and have a great day.